You know, as we celebrate Labor Day this week, I can't help but think about all the veterans and especially my mom, Josie. She retired from the military, Navy. I don't know exactly the date, but she was on active duty. She went to uh, reserves and she retired with awards and she was actually in the uh, Defense Intelligence Agency and she did some really great things. I remember she went to Korea and she'd be gone for a long, long time and I'd always be wondering when would she going to come back? Well, during these times that she had been gone, you know, I had to keep myself b self busy. And a lot of times I'd <laughs> basically mess around the house or find a piece of furniture, um, kick it around in the backyard until, you know, maybe it got some paint on it or <laughs> uh, just made it look beautiful again. Um, and other times, um, I'd be doing a lot of play acting, you know, with my sister and other siblings. Um, that's where my, I guess, artistic self came in. And uh, then, you know, I didn't actually know that I was an artist until I went to audio and video production school at the Art, Art Institute of Dallas and I found out I was actually a pretty good artist. Um, I started falling in love with furniture very early age. I really didn't have a lot of money and I knew being the oldest child um, came a lot of responsibilities like repairing this or that. And since I was an avid book reader, I often learned how to do a lot of those type of things from books. I absolutely love books. And then architecture was also really interesting to me, all the different shapes and uh, different types of architecture through history. Furniture was a little bit different because it's, you know, it's attainable. I could see it uh, more most often. I still don't know too much about a lot of types of furniture, but what I do like are antiques, of course, uh, mid-century modern, I love vintage, uh, but I also love restoration. Just giving it some love, making it shine again, fixing a leg, or I, don't, I can't do upholstery, but I can do minor <laughs> upholstery. Of course, anything new is good, but when you get something that's aged, and it's got a story behind it. It's so much easier to, to explain to customers the story and help that become part of their legacy moving forward. Hopefully they'll buy a piece of furniture for me or something that remember something in the store that happened or what we talked about always love getting to know my customers. Here at Shopping for Hope, we're having a Labor Day sale this week. It starts tomorrow, Thursday, September 1st. And it runs until Monday, Labor Day. We're at 2256 Carson Street in Holton City, 
at the Thrifty Bodega pop-up shop here until just the end of this month, end of September, because Shopping for Hope finally found its forever home. We're going to be in the Hearst area very soon, and we'll make that announcement later. Thank you for your service, Mom. And also, thank you all those people who have passed away in service, gave their life for us. And that's it. Thank you.